Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel today. We are going to talk about Bhagavad Gita, chapter 1, verse 44 to 46, for more video. Like this, subscribe our channel. Driven by selfish motives, one may be inclined to such sinful acts as the killing of one's own brother, father, or mother. There are many such instances in the history of the world. But Arjuna, being a saintly devotee of the Lord, is always conscious of moral principles and therefore takes care to avoid such activities. It is the custom, according to Satriya fighting principles, that an unarmed and unwilling foe should not be attacked. Arjuna, however, decided that even if attacked by the enemy in such an awkward position, he would not fight. He did not consider how much the other party was bent upon fighting. All these symptoms are due to soft-heartedness resulting from his being a great devotee of the Lord. Arjun was surprised. Despite being aware that this war would only bring misfortune to all, those who were in the battlefield and the families they would leave behind, they were all hankering to commit this sin. He started with the word aho, which means alas. He had enumerated all the possible catastrophes that were imminent if this war took place, but he was ignoring the very fact that if the wrongdoers were not punished, it would cause greater damage to the society. Often we keep blaming the circumstances or others but turn a blind eye towards our own weaknesses. Arjun's justification for not killing his greedy cousins and relatives was driven by his own attachment and compassion towards them. Even though he felt it was a sin to kill them, as they were his relatives, he did not realize that his sentiments were actually materialistic and not transcendental. Blinded by compassion, he had forgotten his dharma as a warrior, that he was beyond this material body. His delusion had come to a point where he was willing to drop his weapons and allow his enemy to kill him unarmed.